Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. Down must we go. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> hey, I hear you, little kittens. <laughs> All right, get in here. Why are you still up? I thought I tucked you into bed already. We want a story first. Yeah, about a pirate. Arr! An elephant pirate who fights something huge and scary. Like a bear. Or a dinosaur. I know, a mouse. I love it, a pirate mouse. <sighs> okay, we'll make up a story about a crazy little pirate mouse on a pirate ship. And I have the perfect title, That Crazy Little Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a bold pirate captain who loved to sail the world in search of treasure. <sighs> oh, this treasure hunt has got me pooped. I need me some sleep. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> no, not that crazy little pirate mouse. Every time I want to sleep, he pumps out of his mouse hole and scares me. I mean, keeps me up. <laughs> Go back in your hole right now. <laughs> oh, what can I do? <gasps> I know what that captain needs. Mouse tamers. That could be us. Aye, aye, matey. Go, Go kitty, kitties, kitties, let's go. go. Oh, hi, Captain. Mouse tamers, ready for action. Mouse tamers, tame mouse! Your command is our wish! And so the brave mouse tamers went to work. First, mouse tamer Kit tried capturing the hyper mouse. <laughs> I've got this! I'll capture the rascal with my net! Can't take it! Make him stop! Not to worry, Captain. That stowaway can't outrun me. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Surrender, Harlot! <laughs> Please, I can't take this much longer. Drive that pest back where he belongs. The mouse is hyper, but don't dismay. We'll drive that pesky pest away. <laughs> ah! Hurry, I can't hold on much longer. Go back. Shoo! Scram! Get out of here! Go! Go back into your hole! Shoo! The moose! Ah! <laughs> Please, enough! I can't take it anymore! Take what? This racket! Oh, all I want is a little peace and quiet! Oh. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Peace and quiet? Easy peasy! Lullaby squeezy! <laughs> When you wake in the morning, you'll hear the sea call. And you'll sail off for gold buried deep. But the night is the time for adventures in dreams. So lie down, little pirate, and sleep. Well, I'll be. It worked. You two have saved the pirate ship from this scary but lovable little... In the morning you'll sail off for treasures to keep. Now I down, little pirate, and sleep. Good night, Dad. Good night, Kit. Good night, Kate. Where will we go?
we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. My burps are the best! Uh. That's nothing! Listen to this! Uh. You are the worst! You are the worst! Awful! Most, Most totally, totally terrible! Kit! Kate! How about we make up a story? A story? Okay! About a squirrel princess! Yeah! Who had a rare nut collection! And we can call the story... Aw, oh, nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a squirrel princess. And she just loved her collection of rare nuts. It's my very favorite thing in the whole wide world. She had many specimens. A fuzzy nut. A prickly nut. A glow-in-the-dark nut. A twisty nut. And a bumpity-bump nut. <laughs> but she was missing one last nut. The very rare noodle nut. One day, the princess went off to search for that noodle nut. She left the castle, but forgot to lock the door. And a little later, her best friend, the Catelephant, came to visit. Hello, Squirrel Princess? Look! Snacks! Delicious! Meanwhile, the Squirrel Princess was having no luck at all finding a noodle nut. No noodle nut here. But she kept looking everywhere. Not a single noodle nut. She even climbed the tallest mountain in Tibet. And there, balanced on a yak's antler, a noodle nut. It's always the last place you look. Back at the castle, the catelephant ate the very last nut in the box and fell asleep. Finally, I can complete my collection. How could you? Oh, but I didn't know. You're so stupid! And, oh, and, oh. you have a funny looking nose! <laughs> I'm so mad I could eat an end table! <laughs> oh, she shouldn't have yelled at the catelephant like that. She made him cry and lost her best friend. And she'll wreck her house, too. We gotta help! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate are here! Did you bring nuts? No? Then you're useless and silly and scruffy! My kitties aren't scruffy. She's just saying mean things since she's upset. I know how to fix this. Friendship repair service. Did you bring nuts? No? Ah! Now, Squirrel Princess, you have to calm down. Why? Because friendship is more important than nuts. Now, let's count to five. Together. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. I do feel better. Thanks, Friendship Repair Service. Hey, where did she go? And where did the catelephant go? Oh, no. I yelled at my best friend. You said mean things, so he ran away. I better find him and apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean those things I said. I just got so mad. I forgive you. Now I know if I get really upset, I can just count to five. Right. That can help you calm down. Before you do or say something that you'll regret later. Would you like to go nut hunting together? <gasps> I'm sure we could find all of those nuts again. Yeah, that would be fun. Looks like those pals are pals again. And from then on, the Squirrel Princess always counted to five whenever she was upset. Ow, ow, ow! I stepped on those evil toys! Dad? Let's count to five together. I'm so mad, I may have to count to seven. 